Hello guys, gals, Martians, and anyone else who's been lucky enough to stumble across this video. This is Tony from Psych Studios. And today, I'm going to go ahead and resume my tutorials. Um, did not put one up on September 11th. I made a tribute video to the Twin Towers and the victims and families. So, didn't do one then. I did put one up yesterday, kind of a speed art just for fun today we're going to jump back in on the how to's so in the past I have shown you how to digitally make over uh, a picture maybe a bland photo that you wanted to add some makeup to make it pop a little bit but there's a couple other things that you can really do that can alter a picture in a, in a good way if you do it properly so we're going to start with things like changing hair color. Well, how do you do that? Well, I'm going to show you. Changing the clothes, the, the color of the clothes you're wearing. Um, you can even change the color of the lipstick that she's wearing. So, we're going to start off here with a picture of Scarlett Johansson. And uh, by no means is she considered ugly at all, quite beautiful. Um, but this particular picture it's kind of bland. I'm not sure exactly where it was shot. Probably some kind of premiere, but it uh, it just kind of looks washed out a little bit. So we're going to take some time, and I'm going to teach you how to make it look a little better. So first, let's go ahead and bring back some of the color that's gotten lost somewhere in this compression. So we're going to go ahead and start out by adding an adjustment layer and I'm a big fan of adjustment layers because they're non-destructive so let's go ahead and add a hue and saturation and let's just bump up the saturation just a little bit and as you can see as we do that now we're starting to get some color into the picture and we got some skin you know the tones are brightening up she doesn't quite look like a vampire anymore which I guess that would be an interesting tutorial too, but that's another, that's completely another monster that we'll talk about later. So now that we've uh, added our hue and saturation adjustment layer, everything looks a little better now, but I'm not a big fan of the bright red lipstick. And I think the dress could use some work. And I don't know about you guys, but I prefer the Scarlett Johansson from Iron Man 2 with the red hair. So we're going to go that route today, and I'm going to show you how we do that. So we've added our hue and saturation layer to bump everything up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and add another one right on top. You always like to build upward. So this time we're going to click Colorize. And you see it changes the whole color of the picture, but that's not a problem. So... Uh, like I said, I like the red-haired Scarlet, so we're gonna we're gonna leave it down here on the hue. We're gonna leave it to red. Saturation. Gonna go ahead and bump that a little bit, and then the brightness. We're just gonna we're just gonna bring that down some. Now we're gonna hit hold Control and hit I. And in doing so, that will invert the mask so as you can see right there now the mask is gone but something we can do that we've used in the past with um, masking is make sure we have the mask selected and we're going to come over here and we're going to grab a soft brush so I like to grab soft round and the size you can change with the slider or the left and right brackets so, and one thing I should mention now, if you're trying to, if you're trying to uh, open your your brush size and you're hitting the left and right bracket and nothing's happening and it looks like you know it's just this little dot, check your caps lock because when caps lock is on, it puts this in what's called precise mode. So it lets you really pinpoint on an area you want to get into, but it can be annoying if you're trying to size your brush. So turn off caps lock and see now we can resize our brush so we're gonna have white because we want to reveal what's under there 
and we're just going to go ahead and zoom in and we're going to start the process of coloring her hair so we're just going to start going over it and as you can see now it's starting to get that reddish tint to it and for the most part you can just kind of use a big brush and cover the big areas you want to be careful when you get to the edge because it will bleed over occasionally but that's not a big deal because if you go over a spot you didn't mean to just switch to the black color and it's it will erase that for you so we're just continuing with the coloring just like that So let's go ahead and scroll down. Let's get this area. Just remember as you're getting close to the edges, you just want to be kind of careful. Now I've got my brush opacity set right now to about 57% just because I don't want it to be so red it's ridiculous so I'm making two passes over the areas that I want to color now you can always set it to 100% that's no problem and you can just change the layer opacity later which I will show you so let's keep going down we're just gonna just gonna get that hair there color it in careful around the edges And then again, we're going to get the rest of it here. Now I'm kind of doing this quick and dirty just to show you the effect. I'm not really trying to stay inside the lines or make it look perfect. That'll be something you'll want to do. I just want to get the point across on how to do it for you. Alright, so now we've got pretty good looking area. Let's go ahead and add that second coat that I was talking about up here on top. Even though it's dark so it'll be a little harder to see. No problem. So now we're going to size our brush down so we can get this harder to reach area and see what I mean about going over there. No problem. We'll fix that shortly. So we'll switch to our black brush, size up just a little bit, go ahead, fix that spot. Then as you go over it, it goes away, just how we want it. Alright, so back to our white brush, we're going to put on our second coat. I'm talking like it's paint here, but, and I guess kind of it is, but you know really so we can also do this with her eyebrows you know, like I said you know everything needs to match because I like the red haired version a whole lot alright so last part come back down here and get this part of the hair just want to be careful around the edges as I said before and I'm going a little faster than I normally would just because these videos are limited to 15 minutes. Thanks, YouTube. Alright. And don't worry about the flyaways, the little flyaways there. You can either take them out with the clone tool, the healing brush, or they're going to be so small in the picture, you're not going to be able to tell anyway. So that's not a problem. Okay. Alright. in there all right so now let's go ahead and zoom out and take a look so now we've got our red hair but you know it kind of looks I don't know a little bit weird to me kind of too light let's go ahead and bring that lightness back down now we're getting more into the red 
that we saw in the Iron Man 2 movie. Alright, so now let's go ahead and add another hue and saturation layer. And this is a layer adjustment because, like I said, non destructive is always the way to go if you can. So I like, maybe I like pink lips. So we're going to go to the pink area. I'm going to saturate it a little bit, make it a little bit lighter. Okay. And once again, make sure we have our mask selected. Control I to invert. We're going to zoom it on in. We're just going to grab our paintbrush, size it down a little bit. And here we go. We're just going to paint in just like such artists here we're just like Michelangelo we're just Sistine Chapel here or you know the 21st century equivalent of Scarlett Johansson so that was just a joke all the art buffs please don't get mad at me just trying to be a, a little funny there bring some humor and fun into this because that's what it's all about so we're just gonna go in like this right here color it up really nicely I bring that brush down, get these tiny areas here. Okay. And we'll adjust any overages there. Alright. Now I like to, uh, around the lips and things, once I do this, I like to blur the mask just a bit. It gives it a more realistic look, I think. So we're not actually blurring the picture itself, just the mask we just made. So, let's zoom out and take a look at that. Oh, perfect. One last step here I'm going to show you. We're going to add one more hue and saturation layer. Alright, we're going to colorize. We're, let's say we're going to go with a purplish type color, say something like that. Maybe light. Okay. We've got our mask selected. Control I to invert. We're going to go ahead and zoom in down here on this area. Not too far down. I cropped the picture just for this purpose. This is a family tutorial, people. Okay, so. We're going to make our brush kind of big. So like I said, then we grab the blur tool. Let's just, hey what, let's go choose darken. Let's just blur around the area here. And like I said, the edges are a little rough, but you can take more time to fill those in and make them look even better. So then let's jump out and take a look and see where we're at. Alright, so we changed the hair color to the way we liked it. We changed the dress, we changed the lipstick, you can change the eyes, we changed the eyebrows. Now, so if you want to even heal some of the blemishes on her face, we can use the spot healing brush on the original background. That, that, right there. Of course, you know, some people like the beauty marks, and I have nothing against that. I'm just showing you how to remove these marks if you wanted to. Alright. So let's take a quick zoom out. And you can kind of see. Let's just go ahead and take a look here. If I turn all this off, you can see what we started with. Kind of a bland picture. We brightened it, changed the hair color, and the lipstick. The dress and everything so like I said this was kind of a quick tutorial one of these days hopefully they'll get to be longer I hate to break them into parts because you know people have to chase them down but thanks for joining me and this is Tony from Sack Studios take care and have a great one